You know, welcome to Cornell University. Uh, and Mike Schaefer, I've been 16 year head coach here at Cornell uh, University and uh, 24 years as a college coach. And uh, welcome you to, to uh, just a little bit of an insight into our program. Uh, we've had obviously had a very successful program here at Cornell University and with championships. But, uh, you know, one of the things that we've, you know, over the course of time is that we're very consistent in our, in our practice preparation and our practice planning. Have a good one. Have a good one. Have a good one. Raj, let's go, boys. Kelsey. Again, you? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And the point is just to get the goalies used to um, the simple things, watching pucks all the way into the hands, watching pucks all the way to the stick, controlling the rebounds. Hang on. Hey, that's the one, right? As you're recovering, you need to find, right? Don't remember, if you're planting that foot, your eyes should be on the puck, okay? He's gonna make as many passes as we can. He's gonna get to the top of the circles, open up, pass it to him, make another pass, give it to him, down the zone. Again, shoot from the outside and warm our goaltenders up. You wanna come here, it comes to you this here. You got this, right away, turn, and there's your lane. All right? If you don't like it, then take off and do whatever you want. Give it back to him and slide. But if you guys are constantly standing here, you can't get it to the lane. He doesn't have to go anywhere in the middle to commit to the middle. All right, what we're looking at here is that this chaos in the neutral zone. Everybody's skating, skating around. And all of a sudden the puck gets dumped in or puck gets turned over, puck goes to the offensive team, doesn't matter where it goes. It's your responsibility is to think about what you're supposed to do. It gets dumped. I want our right defense. If you see our guys going, get up there on the pinch. This is a transition drill. As soon as that ball is rebounded or scored, we're sprinting down the court. Offense and defense both. You're jogging. Let's go. Roll down, bye. Where are we going? Push it. Bye, roll down. Good pass, good play. Like he just went like that. He just gotta get the ball in that area where he can go. Go. Make the play. Whenever he, somebody drives, whenever Bai gets out of here, then whoever's in here is your man. You gotta come over right in here. Just like it's a trap. Now he throws it back, right? Go ahead, throw it back. You're going way back underneath the basket. Because they're gonna come right back to this, because Scoop's coming back here. So you can't go all the way back, because this is still yours. That's the pass back. Boom, right back. That's your man. That's a shooter. That's your man. Oh, Rock, you see that? He's here with the ball, right? Take the ball, D. He's down low. Your man is off. You're over there. Go back over there. Your man is, hot, is cheating. You come right here. We can get you the ball. Now you face. He's, you got a jump shot, or he's open down low. Whenever you see this guy looking that way, you flash right in the high post. That's a high low out of emotion. All right. Let's go. See you tomorrow. Family on three. One, two, three. All right. Good job. Good job. We try to keep this really fast pace, and one of the reasons we switch halfway is so that we can do a lot of different skills. Sometimes we'll do a mini stick up top moving our feet in a shuffle or a karaoke. Sometimes we'll run straight forward. We try to switch it up. And like I said, really try to separate our upper body from our lower body. But in the Duke drill, we have attackers in all of these lines. We have a line of defenders over here waiting to come in. And we start out with the ball starts here. If, she, if this player passes to her right, this player and this player are in for a 3v2 on this side of the cage. Nobody in this situation should carry the ball more than three seconds. Uh, there's just too many opportunities to carry. Uh, in three seconds you've decided if you're going to dodge, you've decided if you're going to shoot, or you've decided if you're going to pass. But one of those three things needs to take place to, to keep taking advantage of the numbers that you have in the 3v2.
Yeah. 